coming to you live. This is KPPX. Ling Lizzle Radio. Oh, loud and proud. Here in Bolivia. Ladies and gentlemen, well, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. It's your boy, L. Ling Lazo, bringing you another Battle of the Beauties. This is the final match. This is for all the enchiladas, for all the biscuits and gravy. What, what, what? If you guys are new here to my channel, don't forget to subscribe to it. I do have links down below to my Discord and my Twitter. Please give me a follow on those and also subscribe. And yes, click the link to my Twitch. Follow me on there. Uh... Yes, and yes, guys, today, today, I have a special guest, the one, the only, Rat Daddy. Yeah. Rat, my guy, what's up, man? <laughs> pleasure, pleasure to be here, excited. Yes, to dude. Show on the road. Yes, dude, I, I am big, big excited. Um, I'm, I'm happy that you're here to uh, cast this finale here with these lovely, lovely ladies. You're in for a treat, my dude. You're, you are in for a treat. Yeah, fill me in, Ling, on how much, uh, what kind of, what kind of format do we got going on here? Well, okay, so the rules are basically, you know, not like how we played. You know, they're gonna keep the ammo crates. They keep adrenalina. So that's all in there, and uh, it's basically just a best of five. We got a best of five on checkpoint. Yes. I'm excited to get at this. Yes, let's go. So these teams don't have names for their teams, so I just call them Bravo and Alpha. And on uh, Bravo team, we have uh, Jenny Cinnamon and Kryptanos. And on the Alpha team, we have Lilith, Blueberry, and Spoiled. Now we're going to see what they pick here. <clears throat> okay, so we have uh, Jane on the Stalker. We have uh, Cinnamon on the Scout. See Lilith on Alpha with Tech, Blueberry on Point Man, Spoiled on Artillery, and for Bravo, we have Cryptic on Predator. All right. Yeah, it's very interesting. I'm, I'm happy to see drones. What about you? And I can already see the difference with having ammo crates. You guys allow the hollow point. So it's yes. going to be interesting to see the stalker utilize that, and maybe maybe they'll have an angle on, a, on some of the supply depots. Yes, absolutely. Now, you know... Y'all played quick play. Y'all know that uh, <clears throat> Janie can snipe. So let's see. This is this is gonna be nice. Is there anyone uh, specific you want me to uh, start up on? Is that the MP7 I see on the scout? What what what? The All right. Improved. Yeah, bro. All right. So we're we're gonna start this up. Scout TZ, but we're gonna do the old eye in the sky and see how they break. So as you see, Alpha team is running right down the middle. It looks like they might be playing uh, train side, but it looks like they're going to be going building side. For Bravo side, you see Janie going to the line boundary. We have the scout running up into the middle. She's going to be playing back, now throwing her drone. We have the Pred still running up the street. And yes, I did call it. We have Blueberry and we have uh, Spoiled. And Lilith also playing this uh, house side here. Now we're going to go in. Boop, boop. We're going to see some early action here on this left side. Both yeah. With the scout and Pred. Let's see if the real, the real question is, is Janie going to be able to provide enough cover fire? Because this is now a 3v2 gunfight on this side. You were uh, also correct on that because, uh, yeah, they, they are kind of lacking guns here. And uh, as always, you know, if Hannigan would have got the high ground, it would have been a different story. So it's the same thing with gunfights. If you do not have high ground, you're kind of – not gonna win so easy, See, prevent, what... easy preventive measures and the mines have gone down from the mortar both the all three proxy mines have gone in the center building from the tech and it seems now now we're just gonna wait on intel before either team decides to make the next move all right so the drone should be up for uh for cinnamon here so we're gonna go right to her she does not have uh wow surprisingly she doesn't have thermals on but she pinged one right there <clears throat> we're gonna oh, yeah, give it another gonna yeah yeah and clear out all these buildings yeah that that's another thing a lot of people don't do i'm included i don't fly my drones into buildings which you probably should but the uh mortar drone should be up here shortly as well so we'll uh tune into that and see if we can get anything over there on the mortar drone here let's give it another few seconds here 
I would say that was unsuccessful with the scout drone. Well, she did. She did get a ping. She got one ping, so it looks like she pinged out Lilith in that one building there. So we're gonna see here. Okay, drone is going out here. Okay, we see got if the, the slow uh -huh. the slow beat. And because they're not in buildings, this thermals they're immediately gonna get spotted out. She saw both of them drop in the mortar. Oh yeah. Now I wonder if she did have time to drop it. No, I don't think she did. Yeah, I think I think oh, Janie might have shot it out the sky there. Yep, my audio. Okay. Okay, you good? Yep, golden. All right. Yeah, it looks like Janie shot it out the sky there. Yeah, she got 50 points. She definitely uh, shot it out the sky. Okay, so now, uh, see, now, now in, in your case, what would you have done here? Uh, probably uh, gas drone would have been the uh, the play here, right? Would have been the wave. This is interesting because the dichotomy of being a 3v3, you can't necessarily bring a second drone or bring another piece of intel. So having the stalker to shoot down drones and then having the tech to tech drones really limits any intel gathered. True, true. True and real. So we're just going to fly around here. Janie is pinging something. I wonder if she sees uh, Lilith down here. Possible. Okay, now we got uh, Lilith here pinging, I believe. So we're going to go over here. All right, there's another uh, mortar drone up. Let's see if the uh, mortar gets another peaky peak here. And Janie's already shooting at it, so... Yep, so the sniper's position is given away, so they if she finds anybody down here, they should know that she may have saw somebody. Absolutely. Absolutely. <clears throat> but yeah, I, I mean, it, it just it's just weird, because like, you would think, like, you know, this is a really building-heavy map, so you would think, you know, automatically toxic. Because, you know, if you if you get people moving, that's when you get mistakes were made. Yeah, there is uh, ammo crates and stuff like that. But still, just to get people moving out of buildings, and that would give you more of an opportunity to get kills. So, yep, especially with just running the stalker, you would you would think you would want a toxic with the stalker because you have no bullet penetration. You need you need a way of flushing people out of their cover. And if you don't have that, then you're you're going to be playing like a duck, duck, goose game in and out of yeah. cover. Yeah, I wonder if uh, Cryptic right there just seen uh, Blueberry just sticking out the window. Now, if I'm not mistaken, if uh, Cryptic were to back up here just uh, just a little bit, uh, I, I believe she'd be able to shoot Blueberry in the head. But at the same time, I think Blueberry would have the better shot onto uh, Cryptic here. Yeah, oh, they, they and there it was. Scene, yeah, there, there it was. Oh, yeah. Let's see here. Let's keep it going here. All right, there's the mortar drone. And they should also see this mortar or hear this mortar come out of this door, so they should know just by the sound. And if they have if they have their headsets on, they should know by the sound that there are two people in here. I think she dropped her out the door. And right here, Blueberry's going to make a decision. Threw a flash in there, but that was a big mistake on the, uh, the mortar there. Maybe she should have put it at the back door to maybe force her to come through the front door. Rerouted your teammate. And there's the tech firing, so the tech is now given the position. They now know positions of all three. And so decisions will have to be made. The stalker needs to make decisions here. Yeah, the stalker. Oh, the stalker did move in, uh, into a better position here. Trying to get an angle here. I don't know if that was a good angle uh, or good on uh, Blueberry to move with Lilith. Maybe, maybe it was good, but because since, you know... Janie is their stalker. All they have to do is get higher ground and then just basically just try to move them around to let Janie to get some kills here. We got about a minute, 40 seconds left. I am expecting fireworks here for the end of this round. Absolutely. Good shots coming down from tech, but the Pred will still have its battle rage to regain health, so the effort was futile. It was. Blueberry looks like she's trying to make a decision here. Someone's calling a play to maybe come back with the uh, stalker Reno. Oh, look, that, that angle is perfect, though. Oh, the mortar right there in the window. Now. Oh, if Janie would just look right there in the window. Oh, she sees him in the window. She has to see Lilith in the window. Has Either to. Or. Lilith or Janie should have eyes on each other. Oh, no. No, she doesn't see. Oh, no. 
She did ping it, though. Oh, it looks like Princess might be doing something here. Oh, Blueberry. Does not see Jamie. Whew. Taking shots at the point man. Two misses so far. Nades coming in from the scout. It's looking like they're going to get ready to push this center building. However, the proxy mines are still in there. Point I looks like Jamie's going to get in it. Yeah. Trying to flash the point man. Woo! Going up with the shotgun, Jamie. Oh, throwing the uh, the nade there. Should have just used her shotgun. Lil have taken out Cinnamon. Cinnamon taking left. out Blueberry. Your best bet, Fred, is to pull the draw out here. I, I think that's what she's going to do. She's definitely... Cry Cryptic, don't play games. She's going to wait until next time here. First draw. Ladies and gentlemen. First draw. We'll see if changes are made because definitely getting people out of their cover. We'll see if yeah. anybody picks up the toxic drone. Yeah, I know. You know the toxic is coming. The toxic is coming 100%. Like, you best believe that toxic drone is coming 100%. Just, just a toxic alone. Oh, okay. So, uh, there it is. Lilith's like, uh-uh. <laughs> Ain't happening. I knew Lilith was going to do it. I didn't know if Cinnamon was going to do it or not. But I think, I think Cinnamon's going to probably need one more round. To realize to switch to uh, the toxic drone. Let's see what Crypto picks up here. Janie switches off of the uh, off of the uh, what is that? Oh man, to the um, sniper class there. <laughs> Going to the point man using fighting spirit. Uh oh. And what's interesting is spoiled took the assassin with the PDR. Yeah, the and PDR. And quick hands, yeah. So that means uh, they're going to be doing a uh, recon, a recon push here. But let's see what Bravo team's doing. I think Bravo team's obviously going to push recon side. Let's see if Alpha team's going to do the same. Drones going out by uh, Lilith here. She's probably going to get some marks. Let's check her out here. She did a fantastic the last time she played in this three v three here. Good Toxic already down. Marking all three. Getting the Gambit. Easy peasy. Blueberry and the rest of the girls now knowing where the uh, Bravo team is. And Link, check out the damage that that Toxic drone did on all three operators. Yes. Nice chip damage, right? That's what you would call it. Some nice good old chip damage. That makes you win any any head-to-head -head matchup that you get in a gunfight. You will easily have a bullet advantage over that person. This is true. Not not a lot of people uh, knew that played this game. I don't think they've really realized how important chip damage is uh, when using the uh, toxic drone or just putting out that little bit of weed, weed bit of damage there. Because like you said, any little bit will help you in you know gunfights. That is very very crucial. Okay, so now we see Bravo team. They are huddled up together here. Bravo team is Bravo team is setting down their minds. They're realizing they have a disadvantage now with their health they're gonna have to kind of hunker down and get better intel i i can already tell you right now i could i could see the the play that's gonna happen here janie's gonna literally push up to this top side here and get behind him right but as you can see never mind ladies and gentlemen bravo team decided to pull out that building and now they're gonna go high side this is what i'm talking about this is a very the, smart. not even the guys would do something like that <laughs> very smart rotation and if you notice all three of them hit the ammo box all three yes hit the ammo box, got yes their help, got their minds back got any nades they've used and now they decided to push top side and really? then now it basically puts the Jane. Now, I mean, I'm sorry. Uh, was it Blueberry's out of the play now because she's kind of far away? But we'll see. So now both these drones have to go up and they have to recollect all the information because now all three players have rotated. You've lost all information on all three players. Yes. Good rotation. And I loved how, uh, I guess. And someone must have called it because even Lilith was like, uh, nope, and uh, pulled out as well. So that was actually nice to see. Now, Spoiled Princess, is, eh, I guess Spoiled Princess, they want her staying by the access tower here. So I'm thinking she's going to be the uh, go-to. Blueberry is kind of overextended. If, if they could just find Lilith, maybe they can make something happen here. But yet again, Princess is watching Recon Tower. I think they're going to have her be the uh, person who hits it. And look again, 
Ducks fly together. Somebody calling another audible, but I think uh, Blueberry, yep, Blueberry's definitely uh, saying, and Blueberry does Blueberry not up. know? All three eyes. No, she, yep. she called it out. No, okay. going to go for Axis Tower here. Quick yep, easy. Going down. Yep, bada bing, and there it is. Now, here's the thing. You can't just storm them. They do have high ground. So if, yep. they, if they huddle up and watch each other's angles, they can they can wait out the recon tower. Look, they actually did not know that they rotated high side. I think they literally thought they were still in this right building down here. I, I think they got stumped by the rotation. Yeah, I think they did. Good on you, ladies. Good on you. Oh, look at this. Look at this high flyer. Spoil is going to try to make something happen here. Gastron going out. They are marked. I believe they still have a few more seconds. So we have Janie here also on the high side here. Blueberry still sitting at the bottom. Spoiled is the only one that's kind of little overextended. Predator is taking major damage. I believe she can easily get her battle yep, rage yep. though. Cryptic just hit battle rage. Yep, there it is. Yep. Okay, Spoiled is coming back. They're going to have her hit the recon tower once again. But I, I don't know if this will be the wave because uh, can't they... Uh, yeah, right here, if uh, Janie would have gotten a little bit better position, could maybe uh, get some damage in. Little damage. Damage going down on the assassin at the moment. Yep, a little bit of chip there, a little bit of chip. They need to not panic, though. Even though they're marked, they have the high ground, and as long as they hold the angles and make quality call-outs and pings, you shouldn't be afraid of being marked right now. It looks like it looks like they're a little bit like kind of like ooh ah e, but they're they're keeping their composure though. They're they're literally uh, keeping their composure. That's for sure. And it seems like they're they're starting to settle down now. The mortars found the nice crevice to sit in. Both both assaults are in the building. Yeah, watch out for blueberry. She will beam you. Alpha side here. What you have to do is you have gas drone has to come up, and you have to get a quality gas here, and then make yeah. a decision how you want to assault this position. Assassin's pulling back now to hit the tower again in one second. There it is. Now, see what are they going to do about Cinnamon here? Because Cinnamon's going to have to pull down to the bottom to maybe get some heals Janie, here. Run oh, right into the here. yeah, Blueberry. I, I mean, uh, Cinnamon have no idea what she was doing. Yeah. Attack. Yeah. So they called out the toxic and they're double. Oh, Janie should be going with Fred right now. Oh, That's Janie taking out spoiled. And now it's a 2v2. 2v2, a quality drop. <laughs> Janie going down from Lilith and Blueberry. Cryptic all by her lonesome. Going for the res rate. Oh, wow. But she's not going to be able to do anything because Blueberry is right there watching up above. This is just absolute madness. And doing the old flankeroo over here. They kind of have a, Cryptic a mouse, taking out spoiled. A mouse trapped in a box and they were trying to surround it. But now that now that the predator won a great fight against the assassin, the toxic's backing off. It's afraid for the encounter. Yeah, because you don't you don't want to battle uh you don't want to battle a prep with AD, that's for sure. Yeah, folks, we still have we have AD turned on, and so yes, that makes that makes these engagements a lot more scarier. With the last oh, and, and, is she gonna run? Oh, there's a mine. She doesn't see the mine. Is, is that her mine? Her. Oh no, my has, god. Yeah, safety first. Uh, I believe the pred took safety first. Oh, good on you, mate. Oh my, do you think she's gonna run to try to draw the round, or she's gonna yeah. stay and fight this? You know. Eye in the sky, hindsight 2020. I would draw this, but you're, you've kind of dropped a couple bodies. You're feeling it here. Oh, oh no! no. Yeah, yeah, she. Yeah, she I, I think her. maybe she thought. I thought. I think maybe she thought she was at the bottom of her. Oh, so they really don't know where she's at. Cryptic is doing a great job being evasive right now. There you go. A few seconds left. Cryptic. This is a big, a big W for. Team Bravo here. Yeah, 100%. She needs to just mouse away and let the timer go out. Wow. I'm okay with that. I am literally okay with that. I'm okay with that.
I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Uh, I'm literally okay with that, my dude. That that was well played. She did smart. You know, there were there was a couple of decisions there on Alpha team that were a little bit questionable, but you know, they they still came out a little bit better there. I would say Cryptic won that round for for her team, being able Absolutely. to draw that out, get getting her team out of a sticky situation. Yeah, that was very sticky. And yes, you are correct. Oh, now Cinnamon. See, now I see again, no drone, but Cinnamon is going with a tech. I mean, it's not bad, but you always need that intel. Lilith staying with the Toxic. So it's going to keep them moving. Because as you can see, the last round, the Toxic worked perfectly. Because what you were talking about was chip damage. And that's exactly what she did to Cinnamon last round. But she basically chipped her down to one shot, got her to move to the ammo crate, and never there to intercept. So. And again, bringing that assassin with quick hands, they're looking to play the recon tower again. I don't yeah. know what decision is being made right now on Bravo team. If they think that they're just going to be able to three assault push into a position and just go for kills. Uh, I'm I, curious to see their, their line of attack. Okay, so what I'm thinking what they're going to do is, I think they're going to literally just sit around the recon tower. And I think they're going to probably just wait and see if she does hit it. I think that's what I think that's going to be what the play is going to be here. Like they're already taking control of the buildings here. So I think that's what they're doing right now. Is that they're banking on uh spoiled uh hitting that uh recon tower. Spoiled taking out Janie. No intel. Janie was able to go I mean I'm sorry, Spoil was able to go up top and shoot down on Janie. Cool big damage, Lilith is almost big black big hard. damage. Wow, but Blueberry not having it. Taking out Cryptic. Blueberry there to cover her teammate. Nice little crossfire there. Now we are in a 1v3 position, and the gas drone is up, looking. They both see each other. Blueberry being there. smart. Yeah, Blueberry being smart, not getting in this fight without Cinnamon having AD. Assassin will surely pick up the flank here in, a, in about five seconds on this tech. Not, not bad, not bad. Good movement here on Cinnamon, just trying to find that angle. But Lilith is right there to intercept. Oh, Lilith whiffing. That's okay. Here, here all you want to do is poke, poke at the person with adrenaline. Make them uncomfortable, make them move out of their cover, and then slowly, slowly take that vice grip and surround them. That's definitely what's happening there. Oof. The pincer has been pinched. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Round number one going to uh, Alpha Team. Oh, and I apologize, right? I said the best of five. It's actually the best of seven. We have seven wonderful rounds going here. I believe we're going the distance <laughs> yeah we're definitely gonna go to distance already with two draws man but it, it oh man alpha team I, i'm excited dude like this is this is a good match so far alpha team being the first one on the board and they're going to stick with the toxic assassin and a assault point man combination bravo team maybe seeing their error hopefully we'll bring a drone I, I don't I don't think that drone's coming because I think they're only droners uh cinnamon. I think Cryptic's gonna go with her, her pred again. That's just my uh guess. Oh they have intel. They have intel. This will work because you have intel from Sentinel and you have a canceled intel from the tech. Absolutely. This, this if you play slow enough, this will get you by. I, I think that's what they're going to do here. I, I think they're actually going to try to actually slow it down and make Alpha Team play Bravo Team's pace. I mean, at this point, they kind of have no choice, and they kind of have to. So let's see if she can get these marks right off the rip. Uh, don't we have a tech on the field here? I don't, know if she, I don't know if she got any marks there. Our Blueberry was marked there. And also Lilith got marked. I'm guessing that's from uh, from the eyes in the sky up on the hill. The uh huh. 
El Satanel. So now they're just missing where uh, uh, Princess is. This is going to be tough. And Princess, and Princess got was able to get in there and shut down her mind. So she has full control of this top hillside building. Ooh, shots already ah. going out here. Point man had eyes on somebody and was taking angles. I think, yeah, it was definitely was shooting at uh, Janie here. All right, drone is up. Woo! I knew that was going to happen. Blueberry just picking off Janie. Janie caught whack and trying to heart. Oh, the Cryptic taking out Princess. Crystal oh. making a Huge. Two <laughs> now. I I think she's actually good for a rest. Oh, Blueberry's hungry. Blueberry is hungry. This is a, this is the call made. They said Blueberry, I want you to seek and destroy that sentinel. And she. Oh, uh, she like. Oh no, Cinnamon's not going for the res here. No, Cinnamon should have went for the res here. Oh, actually, she stopped Lilith. The problem is, is uh, Cinnamon doesn't know that that point man's still not on that window. That's the only thing. Cinnamon now realizes that this building is mined up. Uh oh. The point man is now pushing the sentinel. Let's see if a little C4 action can save her. No C4. Woo! Oh, and a train! Oh, a train! Let's go! Okay, okay, okay. I'm excited. All right, Lilith right now using her battle rifle. Right the grenades out. Double kill. No, and she missed. Fishing about, fishing about, fishing about. Oh, 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 ow, oh, she's one shot. She's getting chased right now, getting some health back. Oh, she's looking. She's keeping her composure. Oh, but Lilith was there to finish it. Great, great, great round. Do you see what I mean, right? You, you've casted some games with me. What do you think of this so far, bro? Pretty hype, right? <laughs> I'm, ex I'm excited. They are making plays, and they're calling it. Yes. They're, they are sticking to their guns. Yes. I like the fact that Blueberry knew to push that hill and take the Sentinel out. Great job on Cryptic. Getting the trade with a pistol that close yeah. to a point, man. Yeah, that was just unreal to get that trade. That was just unreal. This is going to come down to who can who can get the first drop on the other opponent. And, yeah, because uh, at, at this point, it's not really about intel because, like, uh, Rava team is doing okay without it, right? Maybe? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. they're, they're, they're making it work, but they're down 0-2. They just need to find that play and be able to execute it efficiently. Again, Cinnamon. Changes. Cinnamon not going with the Toxic Drone. They did make some changes. They have brought out a Pathfinder and Assassin. Oh, a Assassin. yes. Yes, let's see what happens here. We're 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 gonna, we're gonna stay close with this uh, uh with this uh pathfinder. See what they do. So right away we see that uh alpha team is probably gonna do the same thing. Uh, Princess did get a kill last time, so it wouldn't surprise me if she tries to rush right up to that building again, plan her minds and try to shoot down. It looks like uh, Janie went and got that center building, or I'm sorry, uh <clears throat> yeah Janie, and then we have Blueberry in her building as well. Yep. She made it, so uh, Spoiled made it into her building. And Lilith's drone is still in the air. Constantly oh, yeah, still. Air. Yep, still in the air. I won't be surprised if she marked all three of them. Janie already getting gassed out of that one building there. This is a composition where it's really key on verbal callouts because you have an assassin and both a pathfinder on Bravo team. For those two operators, you need verbal callouts. That's because, if you guys remember, you cannot mark the Pathfinder. The Pathfinder cannot be marked by a drone, and the Assassin cannot be marked unless you are within a certain meter distance. You have to be close. So you really oh. have to work on the verbal communication with this composition. Huh. I wonder. Spoiled Princess uh, just boogied on out of there. I wonder if she heard a uh, cryptic coming or she heard something. And being able to walk into that house unafraid of mines allowed allowed Cryptid to kind of take control of this middle house. Gas right. drone going up now. See see what we can see here in the eye in the sky. Hey, marks uh, marks one. Oh, 
Oh, we got ourselves a battle here. We have the scout with the MP7 trying to take oh. a far range fight. Has to she forgot to reload. Oh, putting shots. Cinnamon taken out, spoiled. And also we have, uh, who was that that went down? That was, uh, oh, Cryptic went down as well. Cryptic inside the house. Oh, yes, inside the house. So it looks like she got beamed by a uh, blue. Oh, maybe, no, it might have been uh, Lilith here. Hey, there it is. Recon That's tower being hit. Out. Yep. And she got off her drone right away here. But this could be dangerous. If they find Lilith right here on this cliffside or she shoots too early before her teammate can get back in position to help, she could be singled out. And she did shoot. She did. did hear the gun. They shouldn't know where the sound marker is. Blueberry. Just right there. Beamed cinnamon. Blueberry was able to come back up in time. Help the teammate. Oh, Janie. And now we have a uh, 1v1. Adrenaline versus adrenaline. And an assassin versus a toxic. Nate's coming out. The push is coming down. Oh, even with Janie shooting first, Lilith just... <laughs> Took her out. This is absolutely madness. I I just I it's just Bravo team needs info. That they're getting beat with no info right now. That that's literally what the problem is. That there's no intel being put out there. Like she just needs to bite that bullet, go toxic, and uh just start marking and gassing and doing that chip damage, because that's you know, and at the end of the day, that's what it is. That's what it comes down to. They're Intel is there, skiing. They're they getting are getting there, though. They're getting the drops, and they're getting in 1v1 situations where they are just this close. They are just a smear close of just getting another kill, and they would have went around. And it's happened now two, three rounds in a row. Two yeah. Rounds. So do you think maybe they, they just have to maybe play a little bit closer, maybe, or play a little bit more passive? I think a little bit tighter, tighter kept squad. Maybe team, team shooting to help out in these 1v1 situations. Absolutely. Because they decided to switch it up again. All right, let's see what she can see here in the eye of the sky. We're, we're going to go right off the rip here. Because I, I believe she's been getting uh, gambits this entire time. Yep, she's droning right off a of spawn, and she's getting all three marks. And folks, if you know, when you drone off a of spawn like this, you're able to see the deployment. It's not necessarily the marks. You can get the marks to see what operators the opponent is running. But it's more about the deployment. She knows one went mid, one went left, one went right. Here, Blueberry, she told her, Blueberry's now going full assault mode on the person in the middle. Oh, and her teammate wasn't there to back her up. Oh, I thought maybe Cryptic would have caught Blueberry running across the middle there. And that was just the early intel of being able to see that their deployment, they were split. Oh, yeah. That, that was a huge split. Yep, huge split. Crypto taking damage here. We're going to have to figure out how Janie can get involved in this round. Oh, man, this, this is going to be tough. Oh, Blueberry just taking out Cryptic right away. And now we have ourselves with a 1v3 situation with Adrenaline. In these Blueberry. You have oh, yeah, Adrenaline. I did. Yep. Don't panic. They don't know where you are because they were so focused on these other two. You just got to take your time and make sure you get a drop without people knowing. If you can turn this into a 1v2 with your adrenaline, you have a shot. And that's what Janie needs to do here. Kind of just play an angle and see if she can get an early pick. I'm, I'm surprised that she didn't just kill Lilith right there. She doesn't. I, I, I'm not sure that she's unaware that Lilith is standing there. I, I, I could have sworn like she could have seen there 100%, but... Let's see what happens here. Well, there you There's go. The drop you needed. Now you have a 1v2 situation. You don't have to, don't give up the body, but do reposition yourself. You can uh, if, if, if she would have went on the roof, that would have been the play right there. She might run into Blueberry here, but let's see what happens. Oh, no. If she this does this right now, part. yeah, if she does this right now, this would be A1. <gasps> coming down. Yes. Beautiful, but Blueberry is here. We're, we're going to go to Blueberry real quick. I wonder There's if Blueberry is going to flash and go. There's about to be a big battle in here. What the quick res? 
With the oh, put the it back down, Blueberry! No, we're no. taking them out! Oh, wow. Wow, 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 wow. The effort, the effort, and so close. Great game, ladies. Great game. Man, oh, man, oh, man. That's the whew, Blueberry with the 12 and 3. Someone popped off. GG. Rat. My it's man, it, it was, yes, dude, it was a pleasure, dude. Uh, I can't wait to do more of these with you. Uh, yes, guys, we are going to be doing uh, a league of our own. Uh, the information will be bought at the bottom of the uh, YouTube video, so make sure you guys click the uh, Discord and join it so you guys can figure out uh, what to do and what to play. Right? anything you want to say to the people? I just want to say to all the ladies involved, you did a wonderful job. I've never been this excited to shout out to Matt. This has been a this has been an interesting experience, and I can't say that my my adrenaline is pumping. So I wish there was a best two out of three. I wish we had more matches because I'm I'm ready to lock and go. But been great, great job to all the ladies for making it this far and playing all the matches. You guys did a one job. Yeah, Link, dude. Like, yeah. What's up, buddy? Thank you for having me. It's been a blast. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Thanks. Make sure you guys go follow my friend here. Love support him here on Twitch, Twitter, and his Discado. Love yeah. you guys. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Thanks again.